Hi, Wood Village Baptist Church. Well, here we are in the middle of Advent season, and at our church, we've been celebrating Advent for over 30 years. We didn't get a chance to build Advent wreaths this year, so I thought I'd take the time to do a little review. The Advent wreath usually has four red candles in a circle, has some greenery, and it has a white candle in the center. This is the Advent wreath that Betty and I use at home. An Advent starts four Sundays before Christmas, and on that Sunday, you light one of the candles. And the next Sunday, you light two candles. And you do that for four Sundays until all four candles are lit. Then on Christmas Day, we light all four candles and the center candle. That's the Christ candle. Each candle helps us focus on the things that are important about Christmas. The singular focus of Advent is Christ. Well, the first candle is the prophecy candle. Let me light it up. All right. You can say, ah, if you want to. Um, the Old Testament is filled with prophecy about the coming Messiah. The Jewish people expected their Messiah to come, and Jesus fulfilled all of the prophecies in the Old Testament. He was born of a virgin. He was to be from the tribe of Judah, a descendant of King David. He was to be born in the little town of Bethlehem. He was to be fully God, fully man, and he was to be the savior of mankind. That's the prophecy candle. The second candle is the Annunciation candle. His coming was announced, annunciated, announced by Mary, announced by the angels, announced by the shepherds. John the Baptist announced Christ as the Lamb of God. And we're told to announce his coming by telling his story. Well, the third candle is the affirmation candle. We're to affirm his coming. We're to make it personal. Well, how can we affirm that Christ has come? Well, when we accept Christ as our personal Savior, our Lord, our sacrifice, God sends his spirit to live in us. And Paul said, I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. With Christ living in us, obviously, we affirm his coming. We behave like we know him. We think about him. We view life through his eyes and we listen through his ears. We value the things that he values. We talk like he talks. We give like he gives and we wait like he waits with the patience of Christ. Well, with Christ living in us, we affirm that he came. The fourth candle is the anticipation candle. We're to anticipate his second coming. As we celebrate his birth, we anticipate that he will return. We can reflect on how he how his birth has affected us. 
Because of his birth, we can identify with him as a human. Because of his death, we know he loves us and he saved us. Because God raised him from the dead, we can be assured that he is God and await his return with hope. And then on Christmas Day, we light the Christ candle. A little difficult to stay lit. So, with the Advent candle, we have prophecy, annunciation, affirmation, and anticipation. Well, when we live this Christmas season, let's live a life that affirms that he came and affirms that he's living in us. Would you pray with me? Heavenly Father, I just thank you for loving us so much that you sent your son to die for our sins. And when we accept him as our Lord and Savior, you give us his spirit. Father, help us to live a life that affirms him, affirms that Christ came and affirms that Christ lives in us. Thank you, Father, in your son's name. Amen. Well, Merry Christmas to all of you.